Hey, fourth graders. Today we are continuing our um, work on test taking strategies, but we're doing something a little different. This test right here, or this passage with questions, I pulled it directly from Mastery Connect. And what I'm gonna do with this is, I'm gonna read the passage and I want you to follow along with me. And then after I read the passage, I'm going to think about what I've read. Then I'm going to go back and read the passage again. And then I'm going to answer the questions. Now, remember, we're going to have some questions that are right there. The answer is right there. And then we'll have some that are think and search. We have to go back and look for the answer. But what you need to do also as I'm reading and as you're reading when you take a test is to Think about the kind of questions that you know that test makers will ask us about theme and about vocabulary and about why the, um, the characters in the story make the choices that they do. So this is called Johnny Cake, an English tale. And this is story one because we are going to be comparing two passages. Once there was a farmer and his wife in the country, the wife said to the farmer, I'm going to put a Johnny cake in the oven to bake. Help me to remember it so it will not burn. However, the farmer and his wife began working in their garden and forgot the Johnny cake in the oven. Soon a rumble shook the oven, popping open the oven door. The Johnny cake leaped out and rolled toward the open door of the house. The farmer and his wife were startled to see their Johnny cake heading out the door and ran after him. Unfortunately, the Johnny cake was too fast for the farmer and his wife. They sat on the ground to catch their breath. The Johnny Cake ran into the woods. Soon he happened upon a fox that was lying quietly under the shade of a tree. Without rising, the fox called out to the Johnny Cake. Well, hey there, what are you doing? I've outrun the farmer and his wife. Surely I can outrun you too. Your voice is soft as a whisper. Come closer so I may hear you, said the fox as he tilted his head toward the Johnny Cake. The Johnny Cake stopped running and moved closer to the fox. I said I've outrun the farmer and his wife and surely I can outrun you too. Oh, now you are clear as a bell, smirked the fox. And with one swoop of his head, he snapped the Johnny Cake between his teeth. This marked the end of the Johnny Cake's chase. Hmm. Now, foxes are always sly. Every time when there's a fox in the store, you know that fox is going to do something sm um, something snarky and something that is sly. So right here now are our questions. We have some questions, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to think about the theme of that. And I'm going to think about the Johnny cake, which, you know, this is a fable. So they're going to have cakes that can walk and talk. Um, so let's see here. Let's read it again. Whoops. Johnny Cake, an English tale. Once there lived a farmer and his wife in the country. The wife said to the farmer, I'm going to put a Johnny Cake in the oven to bake. Help me to remember it so it will not burn. However, the farmer and his wife began working in their garden and forgot the Johnny Cake in the oven. Soon a rumble shook the oven, popping open the oven door. The Johnny Cake leaped out and rolled towards the open door of the house. The farmer and his wife were startled to see their Johnny Cake heading out the door and ran after him. Unfortunately, the Johnny Cake was too fast for the farmer and his wife. They sat on the ground to catch their breath. The Johnny Cake ran into the woods. Soon he happened upon a fox that was lying quietly under the shade of a tree. Without rising, the fox called out to the Johnny Cake. Well, hey there, what are you doing? I've outrun the farmer and his wife. Surely I can outrun you too. Your voice is soft as a whisper. Come closer so I may hear you, said the fox as he tilted his head toward the Johnny Cake. The Johnny Cake stopped running and moved closer to the fox. I said I've outrun the farmer and his wife and surely I can outrun you too. Oh, now you're clear as a bell, smirked the fox. And with one swoop of his head, he snapped the Johnny Cake between his teeth. And this marked the end of the Johnny Cake's chase. Now let's look at our questions. Based on the information in the story, which statement best describes the Johnny Cake? A, he is proud of how fast he runs, definitely. 
He is smarter than all the other characters. Um, I don't know. He is sad that he left the farmer. Or he is afraid of the fox. Now, that's kind of, you do, that's a, certain, a question you have to think about. But um, he said, I have outrun the farmer and his wife, and surely I can outrun you too. Would that tell you that he is proud of how he runs? I think it would does me. And we know he's not smarter than the other characters because that fox outsmarted him just by telling him he couldn't hear him. And he's not sad that he left the farmer. He ran off on his own. And he certainly wasn't afraid of the fox because he went right up to him. So the answer to this one is going to be A. He is proud of how fast he runs. Okay. So, no, well, that's not exactly straight, but it'll be okay. So, based on the information in the story, which statement is true about the fox? And you'll notice that they're saying based on the information in the story, because when you're reading these passages, you have to get your answers from the story. You can't just get them out of somewhere in your head or some other story or something that you, the um, answers have to come from the text. Based on the information in the story, which statement is true about the fox? The fox is smart. The fox cannot run very fast. The fox does not hear very well. Or the fox is friends with the Johnny Cake. Okay, so the fox is smart because he was clever and you always hear Sly Fox, but up here it says, um, I can hear you clear as a bell, smirk the fox. So he outsmarted the Johnny Cake by telling him he couldn't hear him. Um, the fox cannot run very fast. Well, it doesn't say anything about how fast the fox runs. It doesn't say anything about that. So it can't be that way. The fox does not hear very well. Well, the fox did say, your voice is soft as a whisper. So that doesn't mean the fox can't hear very well. That just means that the Johnny Cake was talking too softly like this and he couldn't hear it. The fox is friends with the Johnny Cake. No, they just met. So you couldn't really call him friends and you especially couldn't call him friends after he snapped his head off. So uh, my choice after thinking through and discussing them in my head is this one is gonna be A as well because the fox is smart. Based on the information in the story, which statement is probably true? The fox outsmarts the Johnny Cake. The farmer's wife catches the Johnny Cake. The farmer can run fast. The woods are dark and scary. Based on the information in the story. Well, the fox outsmarts the Johnny Cake. Yeah, he does because he got him to come over there. And we just said the fox was smart and the fox ate the Johnny Cake. The farmer's wife catches the Johnny Cake. No, she didn't because remember, she did not catch the Johnny Cake. Um, the farmer can run fast. No, they got too tired. They had to sit down and the woods are dark and scary. Well, words may be dark and scary, but it doesn't say a single word about this up here in the text. And that's the only place I'm looking for my answer. So it's not going to be D. It has to be a, the fox outsmarts the Johnny Cake. Okay, now one more down here. What is the theme of Johnny Cake? Do not rest too often. Keep working towards your dreams. I don't, mm, I don't think the only thing it talked about resting was whenever it was talking about the farmer and his wife had to sit down and rest. Do not be greedy, but learn to love what you have. Hmm. I don't think it was talking anything about that. It was, I don't remember it saying anything about being greedy. Do not laugh at others. They may be helpful to you one day. And in this story, nobody was laughing at anybody, so it couldn't be that one. Do not brag about success or someone might prove you wrong. And this is important. If you go around and whenever... We would have our races out there and I would let you guys race to the door. And then um, somebody would always be bragging, saying they won and it would cause a problem. But do not brag about your success because somebody may come along and beat you or I mean, beat you in a race or someone may come along and show you that you're not the best. So it's better to be humble 
And that means don't brag about things and don't go around showing off just because what you have. Now, the next story is called The Dumpling. There once was a woman who made dumplings of rice flour. One day, one of her best dumplings rolled off the table and fell, fell into a hole in the floor. The woman reached into the hole to save her dumpling and was suddenly pulled deep into the hole. She fell head over heels until she landed on a long road with rice fields all around it. She decided to travel the road to find her lost dumpling. As she walked down the road, she called out, Dumpling, where are you? Your dumpling rolled out by me a short while ago, answered a statue made of stone. He outwitted the Oni in a race. You shouldn't travel anymore. The Oni is known to be mean and dangerous. The woman looked the stone statue in the eyes. I'll let no Oni hurt my dumpling. And she ran past the statue to save her dumpling. The woman saw her dumpling in the hands of the Oni and she passed the turn in the road. She surprised the Oni and opened its hands using a rice paddle near her foot. The action set her dumpling free. The woman wished harder than ever to be returned to her kitchen. Suddenly, the rice paddle trembled and lifted the woman and the dumpling into the air. When the woman and the dumpling landed, they were back in the kitchen. The woman then enjoyed the rest of her day of the day with her prized dumpling. Now, that was a weird story. There once was a woman. I'm reading it again because I, there's a lot of things I'm not too sure about in this one. There once was a woman who made dumplings of rice flour. flour. One day, one of her best dumplings rolled off the table and fell into a hole in the floor. The woman reached into the hole to save her dumpling and was suddenly pulled deep into the hole. Oh, okay. She got pulled into the hole. She fell head over heels until she landed along a long road with rice fields all around it. She decided to travel the road to find her lost dumpling. So she was pulled through that hole and she came out on a road. She walked down the road. She called out, Dumpling, where are you? Your dumpling rolled by me a short while ago, answered a statue made from stone. He outwitted the Ani in a race. You shouldn't travel anymore. The Ani is known to be mean and dangerous. The woman looked at the stone statue in the eyes. I'll let no Ani hurt my dumpling, she said, and she ran past the statue to save her dumpling. The woman saw her dumpling in the hands of the Ani as she passed the turn in the road. She surprised the Ani and opened its hand using a rice paddle near her foot. This action set her dumpling free. The woman wished harder than ever to be returned to her kitchen. Suddenly the rice paddle trembled and lifted the woman and her dumpling into the air. When the woman and the dumpling landed, they were back in the kitchen. The, the woman then enjoyed the rest of her day with her prized dumpling. Well, that story was interesting. <clears throat> Based on the details in the story, what, what would the woman most likely do if she lost another dumpling? Now, these are the questions that you really have to think about because you have to think about the woman and the character and the things that she did and the links that she went to to save her dumpling. She would work hard to get it back. She would let it go and make another. She would ask an Oni to help her find it. She would follow the advice of a statue. Well, when you think about those choices and what happened in that story and how hard she worked to get it back, we could say, that if she lost another one, she's going to do the same thing she did, which would be work hard to get it back. So, hey. All right. Now, what is the theme of the dumpling? Okay. Let me think. Use your time wisely. Kindness can be rewarding. Choose a road and follow it. Search for what matters to you. So, Hmm. Use your time wisely. That wouldn't be the theme in that one because it doesn't really talk about time. Kindness can be rewarded. Well, no, she was kind to her dumpling, but that doesn't really, that's not the theme of that story. Choose a road and follow it. So she landed on that road and she followed it. She didn't really have to choose it. She just landed on it when she went through that hole. So, 
search for what matters to you. And I think what that means is if something is important to you and you've lost it or you feel like you've lost it, you need to look for it. Search for what's important to you. So I'm going to say that is D because when you think about the story and how the woman, how she went because the dumpling was important to her and she went out of her way as she walked down the road, she called out the Ani on, is known to be mean and dangerous. So she didn't care. She still went to look for her dumpling. So search for what is important to you. I am pretty sure that that is the um, theme of that. Which sentence best summarizes the story? So we got a summary again. A woman learns from a stone statue who has her dumpling. Well, no, that happened, but that's not all. A woman fights a dangerous creature to get her dumpling. I don't think so. I don't think she fought him. A woman searches until she finds her dumpling. A woman looks in the rice field for her dumpling. Well, she didn't look in the rice field. She went down the road and it summarizes the little passage says, a woman searches until she finds her dumpling. Now, how are the two stories alike? And this is the two stories uh, that we just read, which one is Johnny Cake, and then the other one was the dumpling. Both two stories are true. Well, no, they are not. Johnny Cakes do not run out of your oven. Both stories have the same ending. No. Both stories have ca characters that are chasing food. True. Both stories have events that begin in a garden. So, Hmm. I'm going to say that it would have to be both stories have characters that are chasing food because um, <clears throat> that both stories started in a kitchen. So both stories have characters that are chasing food. And you know that whenever um, I read these passages, so I'm familiar with them. How are the actions of the dumpling and the Johnny Cake different? The Johnny Cake ends up in more danger than the dumpling. Well, the dumpling was probably in danger as well. The dumpling travels blindly, but the Johnny Cake knows where it is going. Well, we don't really know too much about what was going on with the dumpling. We know what was going on with the woman who was looking for the dumpling. The Johnny Cake escapes on purpose, but the dumpling rolls away by accident. The dumpling meets up with others while traveling, but Johnny Cake cake keeps to himself. So the Johnny cake, he did escape on purpose. He went running out of the oven, but the dumpling, he rolled away. She, he fell off the counter and he rolled into that hole. So the Johnny cake escaped on purpose, but the dumpling rolled away by accident. And that's probably his owner went searching for him. But that being said, the Johnny Cake's owner wanted to go find him too, but he got, he was eaten by a fox. How are the endings of the stories different? The, if, in Johnny Cake's, the food goes free. In Johnny Cake's, the food, the cook makes new food. Um, that's no. And in Johnny Cake's, the cook makes new food. No. In the dumpling, the food brags about its speed. No. In the dumpling, the cook gets her food. Now, how are the endings of the stories different? Johnny, so, the dumpling, in the dumpling, the cook gets her food. So, whenever in the other story, the farmer and his wife did not get their food. So I am going to choose D. One difference between the Johnny Cake and the Dumpling is the Dumpling is saved, is saved and the Johnny Cake is not true. The Johnny Cake is made by a woman and the Dumpling is not. That's not true. They're both made by women. The events in the Johnny Cake could easily happen and those in the Dumpling could not. No, it'd be more likely to lose your Dumpling than it would to have your cake go running down the street. In the dumpling, the woman goes after the dumpling, but in the Johnny cake, the woman does not go after the Johnny cake. That's not true either. The farmer and his wife 
both went chasing after the Johnny cake. So this is it, A, the Johnny cake, the dumpling is saved and the Johnny cake is not. Because I read those passages, those stories twice. So most of these I can think about, and these are all think questions. You think about what you've read. Which event in the dumpling is similar to Johnny Cake rolling out the door? The dumpling falls off the table and ends up in a hole. The statue tells the woman where the dumpling is. The woman wishes to be back in her kitchen. The dumpling lands where it once began. So which one of these are similar? And you know that similar means they're the same. Which ones are close to each other? The dumpling falls off the table and ends up in a hole. The statue tells where no, let's see. Um, it would be the dumpling fell off the table and wound up in a hole, ended up in a hole. So would be the same as they, they forgot about the oven door. They forgot about the Johnny cake and the oven door went flying open and Johnny cake ran away. So that would be 16. I'm pretty sure. Now your assignment today is going to be to read a couple passages, read them twice and then answer the question. As you're reading, think about the questions that test makers will be asking you. Think about themes, think about the characters, put yourself in the position of the characters because it might say what would um, right up here when it says, based on the story, what would the woman most likely do? So you have to think as if you were the woman based on what you had read, what would she likely do? So anyways, hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.